forever we Yeah What up? Plug 66 Deshaun J in the building What's up man? Come on Pull up to the spot, bullin' with the squad Just wasn't expecting your presence Couldn't run from it, I ain't need your number I knew I'd have sent you a message yeah. R&B name, coke bottle frame And plus he had my complexion I ain't making moves, we can get some food I just need to know your suggestions I got the bill, put a bag away I know I just met you last Friday I done seen you eight times in a Saturday But we can just keep it rolling quick They go for my shot like they under rose And I can already see you anticipating But for now we're gonna chill just to keep Wait. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to make you the only one. You play that role and I owe you one. I just need me a baddie, I know you want. She know the vibe, so she roll me one. We gon' run up a bag and we blow on one. Don't need none on the side, she the only one. Don't need none on the side, she the only. Hey. I'm trying to make you the only one. You play that role and I owe you one. I just need me a baddie, I know you want. She yeah. know the vibe, so she roll me one. We gon' run up a bag and we blow on one. Don't need none on yeah, talk to him, talk to him Yeah We done spent some time, now she know the vibes I know that it's mine with no question Wildin' in the car, she my superstar Chillin', playin' up your confessions Could be undercovers one way or another It only go in one direction We ain't worried about who gon' hate in the background Make the mother hoes back down We fell off for a minute, but love mama back now Got me high like the pack round We grew up yeah. in that time, we remember what Wayne so we practicing safe sex Till we real up on trip and she send me that late text Know that I think I'm late text But there's never no rush with me, baby I'm Yeah Cause I'm trying to make you the only one You play the role and I owe you one I just need me a baddie, I know you want She know the vibe, so she roll me one We gon' run up a bag and we blow on one Don't need none on the side, she the only one Don't need none on the side, she the only uh. I'm trying to make you the only one you play that role and I owe you one I just need me a baddie, I know you want blow, blow, She blow. know the vibe, so she roll me one We go run up a baddie, we blow on one Don't need none on the side, she the only one Don't need none on the side, she the only Oh, hey Phone calls for out now Let's talk to him Y'all already know the vibes Y'all already know the vibes We coming in here dropping bombs we coming in here dropping bombs, you feel me? We yeah. here, we here. We here for plug number 66, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we. We got, we got Deshaun J in the building. This has been an episode, long time coming. This should have been probably like number 17, number 12 or something, you know what I'm saying? Like for a minute, but you know, it was all good. It was, it was bound to happen. That's hell yeah, it, hell it. yeah. And I'm, 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 glad I'm proud and excited this happened. Definitely perfect timing. You got a lot of things going on. You're definitely doing a lot of networking yourself. Um, yes, sir, man, trying to figure this out, bro. Just trying to figure it out. Man, it's tell journey, us a little man. bit more, man. It's How you living? How you living? How's everything going? Tell us a little bit more about this music journey you on. Um, it's been it's been great, bro. Um, like I was telling you earlier, man, I'm actually in class for this shit now. You know, audio production. I'm learning the actual fundamentals of this shit That's while dope. I'm still engineering, making my own music. Um, I got a project I'm working on that I'm aiming to release by you know late spring next year. Okay. Um, I want to take my time with this one. Um, I feel like I did it. I dropped two projects this year: phone calls for and stacks. Within a month, actually, I dropped phone calls for in February. Okay. And um, I dropped my e another EP called Stacks in um, the end of March. Okay, so, dope, um, I'm dope, just taking dope. my time with this next project. Um, I'm learning a lot. Um, my sound's progression, progressing, and um, yeah. it's taking my time and learning, bro. Hey, man, and that's all it, what it's about. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Well, you'll get to the destination because when you already know what you're aiming for. So it's very exciting to hear. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the seriousness of going into school uh, for the music compared to just, you know, having your hands-on experience and messing around with YouTube and stuff like that. Tell me a little um, bit more about what made you uh, take that next step to go to school for it. I mean, to be honest, I've, I've been, I'm pretty much raised by music for real. I've been involved in music since I've been able to walk and talk. Um, sure. And once I started taking music serious, I just wanted to make sure I learned to um, be self-sufficient. <clears throat> and yeah. of course, that comes with um, learning as much as you can. That's for you sure. know, so um, I did. I do have a couple people that make their own music as well to help me out. Shout out my homie Deshaun. Um, he definitely looked yeah. out for me. Yeah. Taught yeah. me a couple things when it comes to engineering my own shit. But you know, I just wanted to learn all the, the details, the fundamentals. That's you know? dope, man. And some things I just feel like I can make my music a little bit better if I 
new before I released it. Hey, so I want to learn. That's dope, man. And I, I, I applaud you for taking that next step because I know it's going to definitely take you to the next level as well. Knowing those little details and not that's just fact. the fact. YouTube facts is definitely uh, it's going to be very eye opening. So excited to hear that on your upcoming projects. Uh, you talked a little bit about your upbringing and being around music a lot. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about you getting into uh, hip hop as well and, you know, getting your feet into the game and really taking it serious. When did you start taking uh, music a little serious? Um, I started taking it serious a little later than um, most folks, to be honest with you, man. Um, sure. I've been rapping, freestyling with the homies and shit since, like, high school. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, yeah. they always knew that I could rap whenever I actually put the pen to the paper. It was different, though. Like, sure. yeah, I can play around freestyle, but when I'm rapping, rapping, it's yeah. a different level. So they're like, you should... Why don't you try to push your music? You know, yeah. I had a couple of people I made music with, and we, you know, it wasn't really serious, didn't really go to nothing. Yeah. Um, so I kind of chilled for a little bit, and um, I say around 2015, um, I dropped my first, I dropped my first song on like SoundCloud in like 2014, like in December, and then I started performing in 2015. And that's yeah. when we started pushing this shit for real. Yeah, and definitely seeing you uh, active all the time. You know, uh, within you know networking at these shows, Facts. you're always there. Even if you're not performing, you're there. So it's like, very interesting. I'm like, hey man, you go performing tonight? Like, oh no, nah, man, I'm here just to support just such love, and such. Man. Yeah, there's a lot of talented artists in the city, man. Um, yeah. That's really the issue with San Antonio. You know, more people, more artists that um, are involved in the city and the scene need to step out and show support when they're not involved in the actual show. You yeah. know, um, so I just be trying to put in my little my effort to do it as well. That's what's <laughs> up, man. As far as you know, the city and the music scene uh, is definitely rising and definitely shout out to all artists that have been a part of the plug as well uh, and shout out to you as well but what, what is it that you feel like um, is going to open that door or you feel like that door is open right now for us in San Antonio I think it's opening for us bro um, it's not too many artists coming down here but I mean it's yeah. a lot of progression in this um in this city when it comes to the talent level of um, artists <coughs> It's more people putting together events so more artists so, can have opportunities, you know. So I really think we're we getting there. We're yeah, getting there. It yeah. just takes the time at this point. That's for sure, man. So shout out to the, everyone that's putting on these events as well. This is the plug number 66. If you haven't already, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. We're here with my man, Deshaun J. This is going to be a very special, special podcast right here, man. Um, tell me a little bit more about the networking. You, talk, you were talking about how you had to learn a little bit about the game. You've been rapping since 20, 2015, mm -hmm. but now you're starting to have more blog posts. Um, you have songs on, um, you go to tell us what the songs are on, but I've seen Spotify playlists mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, how do you get your music onto platforms like that? Because, you know, that's what the plug is about. We want to know how we can, you know, get to that next level. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, well, um, to be honest, it's real simple now. You know, yeah. you can really just create you an account on DistroKid, you know, or there's other ones like RouteNote or uh, TuneCore. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm doing mine through um, DistroKid. Um, but you can just get you an account on DistroKid. It's probably about $20, $30 a year. Yeah. And um, it'll put you on most um, digital streaming platforms as long as your music is cleared and you're not stealing nobody beats. You know, check that, of course. <laughs> yeah, but, man, yeah, I'll be stealing not, everybody's beats. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, so if you try to put it out, then they're probably going to ask for a yeah. purchase. But, like, yeah, yeah. Not, you know, you can go to just DistroKid and start you an account. Yeah. Um, but as for the blogs and everything, bro, that's really what I had to learn, man. I used to feel like you could just drop music. Yeah, you know? <clears throat> sure. And that's really not the case, bro. You can't just drop music and just hope it blow up no more. That's not that's not really how I go now, man. You know, you yeah, got to put sure. in a little more effort for that. So I'm just doing what I can to get my music out to the masses, bro. That's dope, man. And as, as far as, you know, that's a very important thing for the um, the artists to know about, like, networking and getting to know who to reach out to to get onto these, um, you know, Spotify playlists and things like that. How important is the social media aspect of networking right now very for important. getting your music out? <clears throat> it's very important. It's, I, th I think it's really important now, man, because um, everyone's on it, first of all. But, I mean, word of mouth, it can only go so far in today's age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, it's a, okay. we, we ourselves live in a big city, bro. Yeah, We're not sure. in the biggest city in this country, man. So, you know, that's it's not one person that's, that's really up. around everywhere. You know, they go, to, I know a lot of people try to be everywhere they can and show love, you know, but one person can't speak to every person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you got to, you got to go the extra mile sometimes. Hell yeah. Don't get too crazy. I do see a lot of stuff on social media. <laughs> Don't get too crazy now. No, nah, yeah. man. Yeah. You got to put a little more effort than just, you know, 
popping up here and there, going to the bars. You know, you got to branch out. Yeah, you know for I'm sure. Saying? A lot of people say your um, target audience isn't your local scene. Yeah. You know? So yeah. you got to do what you can to get out there. Yeah. So, man, you, you got articles written up on you as well. So we're not going to be like passive on like what your marketing strategy really is. People, if you're <laughs> if you're plugged in, man, if speaking of being plugged in, how can we follow you on all platforms as I continue okay. with that question? Yeah, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Deshaun J Forever. And that's <clears throat> and that's, that's D-E-S-H-A-U-N-J-A-Y-F-R-V-R. Same with Twitter, um, yeah. Facebook at Deshaun J. Yeah. And, um, if you got TikTok, I got I got a couple of videos on there as well. I don't be doing that too often now. Yeah, that's dope, man. But like I was saying, you you definitely have a lot of write ups, you know, written up on you. Um, how how were you able to get some of these write ups and stuff <laughs> like this, man? Because I'm like they're thorough as hell. I read through a few of them. Shout out to Waves Movement as well, mm -hmm. and then some of the other ones as well. But tell me a little bit more. Is there like a a meeting process, or is it like, what's going on here, man? You well, know, like a you podcast. Gotta, you gotta invest so we just in yourself, chop it up. man, for real, bro. To be honest <laughs> with you, you really okay. just gotta invest in yourself, bro. Um, that was really my, not really my flaw. It's not that I didn't, I just didn't feel like a lot of things were necessary. But yeah. in, in today's age, it really is, man. So, yeah. you know, um, I got a, I know I got me a friend of mine. They know, there's a little more experience when it comes to the scene. For you sure. Know, he's done a little, he's done a lot more when it comes to music. So um, he knows a few people that works with magazines. So he reached out to them, showed them my music. And then he was like, you know what, bro? Um, I'll look out and I'll, 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 write, I'll write some articles for you. Hell and yeah. We started catching them and picking them up, you know, and um, same yeah. thing with the place, playlist placements. Hell yeah. So um, tell me a little bit more about your influence on the game. Uh, you always from San Antonio? No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Where you from? I'm from uh, North Carolina. All right. There you are. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I knew you knew that was coming. So, man, as far as, you know, your influences on the game, man, tell me a little bit more about your style uh, and some of your... All right, let's just do Let's just do this the right way. Blow, blow, blow. Give me your top five. Let's go. Let's go. Top five. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's man. do it the right way. Let's just do it the right way. Five. Okay. Hove is one. Okay. Um, Wayne. Dope. All right. Yeah. Um, Cole. Uh, my last two. My last two. Give me. Uh, let me see. Um, Big L. Okay. And um, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Dope. Okay. Okay. So as far as Ho's best album, man, what would you consider Jay Z's best album or his body of work? Mm, a lot of people say the Blueprint, and um, that okay. I agree with, but. My personal favorite will be the Black Album. All right, there you go. All right, we're on the same page with that one. We're definitely on the same page with that one. And then as far as who else did you have? You had Jay-Z, you had Cube, you had Big L, and then who, who else? Who was uh, the Wayne first and Cole. Wayne, okay, there you mm -hmm. go. Cole's best album, this is a good one. What you got for J. Cole's best mm -hmm. album, his best body of work? Let me think, let me think. This last one was, um, this last one was great, but uh, for me, Yeah. For me, it'll be um, what's this? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, the first album, the Sideline first, Story. Sideline Story. Yeah. Wow. Sideline so yeah, story. you were from the jump. You were listening to the mixtapes and oh, stuff yeah. like yes, that. Oh yeah. Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. Definitely. So yeah, you're right in the game. Nah, I, I like I like the first one. I think his best body of work. I know people be like ah, I don't know about that Alamo, but I think it was Born Center, man. I love Born Center. That was, that was nice. That's, that that was album nice. was yeah. he really out on that, too. He out on that, too, that one sure. was from start to finish. I always felt like that one was a good body of work. Uh, everything else, you know, uh, Forest Hills was a dope that one. Was great. That, that was, was a, a nice album, one. too. Yeah, 20, that was like yeah. 2014. 2014. Mm -hmm. So that, that one was pretty solid. So um, definitely your music your top five definitely have a lot of good influences on the way you rap. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the way you rap, I don't mean to put you on the spot or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we know we're going with this one. But I want to go ahead and put something on for the people. You know what I'm saying? The people love the freestyles. I love the freestyles. I love the artistry behind it. You know what I'm saying? I want to just throw on some beats. Um, I'm going to get two beats for you. All right? And you go ahead and just do your thing on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, hey, we about to get the, we about to get right into this. You know what I'm saying? This is the plug 66 with Deshaun J in the building. Let's get this motherfucker going. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Okay. You know why they're here. Yeah. Yeah. Forever we. Deshaun J in the building, what's up? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Hey, I'm all about the Benjamins, I'm killing them. Feeling that Wendy posted with little men. Can't stop, but I'm still popping, this can't killing them. Oh, hold up, right back acting, they would have never guessed it. Fuck your opinions, never needed suggestions. And they still flourish, I hope that ain't a question. Pardon me while I flex out his letter, make it for too long. Try to make it right, man. I'm honestly good with two wrongs. Not the one to bother us best if you really move on. Try to let you trying to come prove something. Boy, if it's up, fuck it, we upstairs. Fucking you rapper that niggas think should be compared. Need more than one, and I'm happy though if they come paired. Nick Cannon Floor, if you see the team and the drums near. Yeah, he's heating up. Friends and with my enemies. Can't be cool just pretending that shit ain't get them. Come on. I'm really into me. But then don't. Hold up. Hold on, I got you. Deshaun J here, plug 66, what's up? Yeah. Chillin' and we vibin'. Floors be the gang, they know the timing. I'm chillin', I know it be an awkward timing, but they hatin' on me, throwin' shade, I'm still shining. Floors be the team, man, you know that. Hardwood classics for my team, just need a throwback. Yeah. Roll me up a wood and now I'm bobbing like I'm Kodak. Yeah. Beast mode on any type of track, I never hold back. Nice to meet you on the scene with it. No, I'm rocking, no, I'm rocking, no, I lean with it. I fucked up on freestyle and high as fuck. <laughs> I'm chilling with the podcast, vibing up. Yeah. Sean J. I'm high as fuck, balling like LeBron James. Yeah. yeah. Balling ain't no fadeaway. Kobe in the grind ain't no stopping, ain't no fadeaway. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. There we go. Hey, we had to get that one out of there. We had to get that one out the way. We had to get that one out the way. Hey, man, we're going. We're going. We ain't, he ain't off the hook yet. You feel me? We feel me? We're going, hey, we're going to get him in there. We're going to get these in there. Hey, man, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. This is Plug 66. I hope y'all enjoying this one right hell here. Yeah, yeah. Man, tell me a little bit more. You uh, hoop? You play basketball? Bro, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time since I hoop. I used to hoop. Um, you, can, you know, I grew up. Yeah. So um, I used to hoop over there at Bridgewood on Shane Field and shit, 1604. I used to go to some gyms every now and then, but it's been a minute. I've been saying That's I'm going to get back into it, bro, but I've been bullshitting. Look, hey, lie. man, I know that the city's calling for some uh, basketball, some hoops. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the artists and uh, around the city about to get together, get some squads together and stuff. Oh, so true. Hey, so don't they have, like, an open, like, an actual, like, a like an open gym, gym. yeah i think now. so yeah, i, I think so yeah so hey man be ready they got like a little league so mm -hmm. you better start going ahead and hitting the miles a little bit <laughs> yeah, man. i mean I've been, I've been working out lately you know what i'm saying i do like a little heavy bag workout i try that's to do good. about four or five times a week that's know, what's um, up but i need to get back on the court it's that's been a minute what's up. i miss basketball dog that's what's up who you rocking with as far as your team i know you say you're from north carolina and everything <laughs> I'm well, a Lakers you know. fan. Oh you know, man! Yeah, oh I'm man! Where's fan. nah, they, man? We can't we can't have that. We can't have that. It ain't going too well here. for us. You know, <laughs> these past couple years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, hey. but I got a little hope for this year. Yeah, I got a little hope. I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, man. If AD quit playing. <laughs> I don't know when. I don't know when he's gonna quit playing. That ain't even a, a, a thing. I think he really well, just actually he actually will quit playing. So yeah. I mean, I say that if he gets serious and stay consistent, then yeah. he's straight. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, man. But, um, he he's, he need to go ahead and hang that up. Uh, what do you think about that Clippers move? That was a major to be honest, uh, bro, I don't move, really, huh? I used to rock with Harden. You know what I'm saying? If this is 2016 Harden, you yeah, know, I'd be a little more faithful. But okay. right now, and plus, I feel like they traded a lot of good piece on their bench. To, the, to Philly, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think get they'll that. get playoffs, of course. But yeah, but you don't think they go into the finals? You don't think nah, the Clippers nah. go in and win the whole thing from there? Mm -mm, nah. Because, nah. one, I'm not even going to be a cocky Lakers fan. Niggas still got to worry about the Nuggets. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, um, yeah. who on that team going to stop Jokic? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's really nobody. Yeah, I mean, no one's going to stop Jokic. Nobody's going down on that nah, team. They're small. They're real too small. small now. Yeah, and then with P.J. Tucker, and then I think they got rid of uh, Morris as well. Mm -hmm. So that that's not even going to be a – yeah, that's going to be tough. Yeah, uh, I, I like the way the Spurs were looking last night, man. Shout out to the Spurs last night, man. Hey, man, I was really surprised. I ain't going to lie. The Lakers and me was talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, y'all going to get whooped. Then I saw um, Booker and Bill wasn't playing. I was like – 
Yeah, you're like, okay. Okay, it might you know, be it's able gonna to... be a little tougher, but they <laughs> pulled it through, man. They had to come back. I think they were down by what, 20? Yeah, they came back, yeah, from came like about 20. That was yeah. wild. You know, yeah. we'd be looking nice, bro. I'm yeah. not a complete Spurs hater. Okay, you know what I'm okay. I respect the team. That man looking nice. He All right, man. Stay hey, man. Healthy. He gonna be something serious. We still taking applications for the next four nah, years. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, nah, whenever nah. you want to go ahead and, you know, jump onto the fan boat. Nah, bro. I, I hey, stuck man. through the times when Kobe was hurt, bro. I can when, you can when you Kobe can left, suffer. I was still a Lakers fan, man, so I'm good right now. That's see, dope. Like, that, hey, 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 respect. NFL a little different. I did switch up on NFL. Oh NBA man. Now. Oh, so you were a Cowboys fan? Oh no. Sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, sir. No, sir. Ski. No, sir. Ski. Mm-mm. That's why you had to switch up. I understand, yeah. man. That, that shit get a little depressing, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Actually, the reason why I never been a Cowboys uh, fan, bro, I ain't gonna lie. My pops is a Cowboys fan. You know oh, what I'm saying? Dope. He that's always dope. since that's I was dope. a kid, he been fucking <laughs> his shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, Cowboys fans got that because they always. had five rings. You know, yeah. Um, and they never won nothing. So yeah, I'm just nah. Like, Yo, like, that was can a wrap. Yeah, you know, and it kind of made me 90s. like not a Cowboys fan no more. I'm like, bro, I don't like these niggas. <laughs> and you say these... they can be doing this and it don't be working, bro. And never be working. Yeah, they got to get rid of Jerry um, Jones. They got to They got some good pieces. Through. I'll say that Michael Parsons is nice. Yeah, that's um, for sure. C.D. Lamb, he, he yeah. good. And he been in the, he been in the league for a few years now. That's He's dope. getting better. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dak, I don't really feel like uh, yeah, but You know, I was about to pull that up. I mean, I'm more of a Baltimore Ravens. I had to pick my – I had to – Pick my vows, so yeah, yeah, Team I go, with that. Okay. yeah. Now, nah, even before then with Ray Lewis and all that, oh, so, so yeah, I've been, yeah, okay, I've been okay. locked in with that's the Ravens. So, so. yeah, man, I always like the Ravens. Nice and the Cowboys, they I always having ups and downs too. Up, yeah, yeah, ups yeah, and downs. Right. And I hate last year, my boy didn't, want, he didn't get paid, so he sold out on us. And I'm like, yeah, ah, like oh, I'm you. hurt, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm like, trying to pull a little deck, bro. I'm like, you ain't hurt. Go ahead and play hurt. This is the last game of the season, bro. But he's like, nah, y'all ain't paying me. I'm good. So, nah, I understand. Mm-hmm. Nah, who you roll with as far as NFL go? Oh, Philly. Philly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I give it up for Philly. Philly's madly consistent. I was a Panthers fan, bro. I try to be home state. I try yeah. to stay with my home state, bro. But after they, after yeah. Cam left, it just got worse. Yeah, you know, yeah. Got downhill. Sam Darnold came. And then <laughs> once they said they were about to sign Baker Mayfield, I was like, all right, I'm done, bro. Yeah, you're like, nah, we're good. We lost C Mac. Yeah, C Mac was going. He going crazy in San Francisco now. Yeah, happy for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously, but, um, but yeah, dang. after that, bro, it just went downhill, bro. This is crazy. They, uh, they trying to do nothing for the franchise no more. And Philly's always shout out to Philly. Philly's always got a good ass uh, uh, team, man. Always before hurts. Uh, they were able to. Uh, they had were struggling a little bit, but they're still able to win that Super Bowl. How the hell? That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, with Nick Foles, that was yeah. Crazy. I was that like, was wow, really? So Bro got hurt. Um, the the one they expected to take him to the Carson Wentz. Right? Yeah, Carson Wentz. Yeah, yep. That nigga fucked up. And yeah, then it was a rap for Foles him. Just took over. It's all good. <laughs> Shit. I'm here. I'm here, yeah. and everybody got paid from that damn uh, Super Bowl. So shout out to them. Hey, that's a that ain't a bad franchise to pick. Get in the comments. Let me know who's y'all teams that y'all rocking with. NFL like and NBA. Yeah, the, know, the Cowboys fans on my ass for that one. They could be like, really, man? What's that about? What was that about? No. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to, you know, hey, Cowboys got to get it together, man. I wanted to be a Houston Texans fan. Really? But when they start trading off all their players all the time with Clowney and over, all man. them, yeah. I was like. It was kind of over. Oh, man, man I ain't, I ain't going to mess with y'all. I ain't going to go. Mm-hmm. Purchase none of that merchandise. Y'all can keep that. <laughs> Y'all can keep that over there. <laughs> Real shit. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. Not gonna Soon as I buy that jersey, it's going to be <laughs> traded over here playing goods for somebody else. So facts, I facts, gave up man. on the Texans. So Texas, uh, San Antonio, we need a football team. We need one so I can I'm call. I'm really surprised San Antonio home. don't have one yet. For Man, for that's, real. That's really surprised. We got a college team now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? college Shout is doing UTSA. pretty good. Shout out UTSA. Um, but yeah. yeah, that's really a shock that they don't have a football team yet. Yeah, so sooner or later, all right, need to get one. Uh, NBA Finals, who you got for your championship team? And I'll leave the sports alone. Um, I want to say Lakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm very faithful. Yeah. Yeah. I try to believe in my Lakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, we gave you a go there. Sorry, Bron Bron. I Brian. think it might be, um, I think for the finals, uh, I think yeah. the Nuggets got a chance to go back. Um, yeah. I want to, the Warriors are nice. I think they're going to have a run. Yeah. But I don't think they can make it to the finals this year. Uh, not this year. Um, but I'll say the Nuggets, 
Lakers or the Suns. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I think, I think the champions go come out the East this year. This is kind of early. East, yeah. yeah. For the East, I'll say the Bucks. Man, the Bucks looking nice. The Bucks looking good. Yeah. <clears throat> the but Buc- I, the Bucks got a chance. The yeah. Celtics got a chance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me see if there's any other team from the East. Uh, yeah, and Miami's always in the yeah, runs, Miami's of in course. The they can, they, always they, they fight. Of course. They yeah, some, they some uh, they, they play, play dirty, bro. They get to it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? so you always gotta get them a fighting chance. That's for sure. So, yeah, I, say them I think well. Boston's gonna come out uh, of the East this year. Uh, I think I know Dame and you know everybody's <laughs> gonna be like, Celtics, yeah, I mean, man, I don't they fuck nice, with the Celtics though. either. If but Porzingis stay healthy. They, yeah, they if Porzingis stay serious. healthy, and the Holiday gets to run with them and figure out how to run with those guards. And he's like a playmaker, so you know them boys are about to get some easy buckets. So I think I think uh, Boston's going to be ended up. I don't want to say win the whole thing, but I think they're going to come out the East mm. for now. So that's an early they prediction. They could, man. They could. They early could. prediction. Unfortunately. Nice this year, bro. Shout out early Jason prediction. Tate. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, this is plug number sixty-six. I hope y'all been enjoying this. We ain't off the hook yet. We're gonna get into a little bit more with Deshaun J before we let him go. Tell us a little bit more about your future projects you got coming up, some shows you got coming up, so we can tap in with you as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will be performing again on the 15th of November, um, this, well, this month, of course. Yeah. Um, I, I got the flyer already. It's been on my social media. Um, I'll be posting it again later today, more nope. than likely. Um, but, yeah, that's really the only show I got planned at the time. Um, yeah. Really just chilling, trying to work on this music. I got a project, like I said, I was aiming for in, like, late spring. Spring, yep. Um, so, yeah, just trying to focus on that, bro. Um, also, get some visuals out. It's been a minute. You know, that's one of my <clears throat> flaws as an artist. I'll say I don't really be having no visuals out like that. So, hell yeah. I do got to start working on that more often as well. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. So, now, we're definitely plugged in as well. So, we're definitely going to catch a lot of your uh, movements and shit like that. And you need a visual right now? Hey, man, you might as well play one of your songs, man. You might as well go ahead and wrap us up with one of your tracks. And we're going to go ahead and cut this up and put this up on your page. This is a in studio performance, you know what I'm saying? With Deshaun and Jay and Plug 66, you know what I'm saying? This is our platform, brother. Anytime you need to come through, promote your music, send us your music, you send us your album covers. Mm-hmm. This screen is wide open right now, man. So we need some stuff up on the screen. You know, it's just a go right now, but we need some stuff up on the screen right rolling. So send us your music, dog. And I got you. I got you, bro. Say no more. Say no more. Let's see. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. This is plug number 66. We've got this motherfucker rolling. Projects coming out. Um, you want to? You got two projects out right now, like you just mentioned as well. Mm-hmm. How long are those EPs? Well, the EP is, um, the Stacks EP is four songs. Um, okay. Phone Calls 4 is uh, 12 songs. 12 okay. Songs. But okay. I also dropped another project um, last, last summer, um, cool. like late July, cool. called Pinky's Boy. That's about 16 tracks on that one as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. So l- a little lengthy tracks, you know? A little yeah, I, 16, I to, you know, but 12, I was, but I was inconsistent for a, for a while, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I wanted to make up for my artists, bro. You know, Phone That's Calls dope. 3, that came out in like 2020. Okay. You know, and I've been telling people I was working on a rap album for a minute now. And they're like, mm-hmm. you know, when the project coming? Uh-huh. So I yeah. had to make that one worth the wait, you know? That's, That's why dope. I put the super long one on that one. That's phone up. calls for it, you know, um, like I said, the last phone calls track, well, project was in 2020, you know, so I had to <clears throat> put a good amount of tracks on that one as well, you know, for the wait. Yeah. And then Stack CP, I, just, I wanted to prove that I could just drop another one like it was nothing. Nah, <laughs> you know, on your Wayne shit, I mean, on your Wayne shit. Get on my consistent <laughs> shit right quick, you know, so. That's this what's next up. project, it's going to be worth the wait as well. It's been, a, it'll be about a year since my last project. So, That's you know, what's up. How many, how many songs can we uh, anticipate? You know, I know it's a little bit of time, you still got some time to uh, um, put some stuff together but how many tracks are you aiming for this one for this one i'm aiming maybe like t- nine or ten that's nine or ten, yeah okay. nine ten tracks you know when they say that uh people you know that's gonna be about 12 <laughs> or if it ain't gonna be 12 it's probably I'm gonna be 12. To i'm really trying not to do that this time bro, <laughs> it's gonna be know, it's like, gonna be 16. Projects now yeah. be, they like them a little shorter now yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So, they so. you know i say that uh, i think the attention spans are probably uh, like you said, probably like 12 to under, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because they probably, uh, they see anything outside of 12, they probably be like, okay, all right, 16 tracks is good. But, man, that was, 16 tracks was probably like, I mean, 
well, Drake does it now and shit like that. But man, I, I, I can't even make it through all of it. Though, since, uh, lately, you've been taking a little longer with this. Project. Yeah, so I mean, I like projects that are within that like eight to sixteen range because you, you, you really you. keep their attention span and definitely with the versatility you have as well. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, all right, I got you. So I'm excited to hear about that project. You got a name for it yet? Not yet. Not all right, yet. all right, all right, all right. I got a couple in mind, but yeah, not one for sure yet. Okay. What track you go perform for us right here on the plug? Plug, plug. Yeah. I'm perform another one for phone calls for Let's see here. Hold up. This one's going to be called Switch. Shout out my homie D. Shine on the hook. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. We in the building. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. We in the building with the Shine J. Yeah. You got to focus, baby. Talk to him. What up? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Attitude so devilish, but you still so special. And ain't no settling. Just to be in your presence, I'm hustling like I'm peddling. Been down for me, no purple heart. She a veteran. She ain't trying to invest. She can't even picture the better him. I could step in the sauna and leather. I still ain't sweating him. You ain't trying to grow and be better. You just can't tell a shit. Feel like my Beyonce. I'm adding this to my testament. Blow, blow. And she don't acknowledge the petty shit. Disrespect the baby shit. Turning on me, getting quick. I know niggas all in the face, so I had to get a quick. I just screaming and shouting. You think we got for fellowship then we start bumping heads it's on paquito when she start leaving me leave a nigga heart turn to free oh and she just trying to get all this loving like it's for free yeah. but when the question come guess who the blame is on me hey tell me what you is <laughs> try and make it clear we vibing up in here try and yeah. make it clear yeah. Talk to him. Plug 66, man. In studio performance right here. Y'all doing it like this? Come on, man. He texting saying he miss you. That's unfortunate. I ain't tripping if you ain't supporting it. Ain't his fault, he can't tell he be forcing it It's like our favorite moments, it's come from all of the boring shit Netflix, door dash, fucking into the morning shit Knowing that you love it, but blaming me cause you want it Dangerous girl, that thing should come with a warning Now we thinking round two, as soon as we get the yawning You my favorite lady, I got the vibe to drop you crazy, baby This your chance, I'm glad we taking, baby Had a couple moments where you got the tripping But I let you make it, fix it all with just a conversation all on how you take it This hope you listen Don't be acting flagrant And I treat you the greatest If it's a problem Just be honest Let me know It ain't no need to fake it That's the shit I'm craving For real Hey Yeah Tell me Fall what cost. you wish Fall. Try and make it clear We had the plug That's Try what I'm talking about Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cause hey. it make us switch Hey Come Shout and make us switch that's a vibe right there. Oh, uh oh. Hey. Windows down. <laughs> yeah, it's that windows down music for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Something you can vibe to, you know, man. Little music for the ladies. Man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. This is plug number 66. Hey man, one more time, plug yourself, how can we follow you? And then before you uh, tell us how we can follow you, any shout outs you want to give? You um, plug yeah, some of people course, out so there. Yeah, of course, shout out the plug for letting me, you know, pull up yeah. on the platform. Go, go. That's for sure, well man. Uh, shout out MVP Bob, um, yeah. shout out my homie J-Boy, um, shout out RYL team, my Flourish Gang team. All my supporters have been rocking with me since the beginning. Y'all, y'all find me on you know Instagram and Twitter, Deshaun J Forever. You can find me at Deshaun J on all digital streaming platforms, whatever you use, Tidal, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music. I promise you can find me there. I guarantee you can find me there. Actually, That's what's I'll up. pay for it to make sure you can find me there. That's what but, I'm saying. But um, but yeah, man, shout out to everybody's been rocking with me since I've been gone on this musical journey, dog. Hey man, hey y'all tapped in early. I'm telling you right now, y'all rocking with the plug. Y'all rocking with Deshaun J. I'm telling you, it's going to be your favorite artist. If you haven't, make sure y'all get on Apple Music, look at his music, look on Spotify, look on YouTube Music. I know you using one of those three. <laughs> make sure y'all pull up his music and go ahead and give that shit a spin and go ahead and vibe out with the rest of your music and playlists as well, man. Shout out to you. Appreciate you coming through for Plug 66, hey man. Appreciate man. you letting me pull up. Hey, man. It's all love here. Hey, we out. Yeah.